So, alright, so hello, and welcome. So, before I start the speech, I'm just gonna give a list of the sources I use. So I had Molly Block from the University Star, I had Rebecca Berry from the University of Richmond, and I had Damon Salvador from the Yahoo Contributor Network. So, do you enjoy watching the thrilling competition of college sports? The Final Four basketball tournament? The BCS football championship? Well, whether you do or don't, this message pertains to you. See, there's a massive debate taking place right now. A debate that could change the college sports you love watching forever. And you see, all this arguing is over one simple question. Should college athletes be paid for playing? Well, you see, the, the answer is quite clear. College athletes should not be paid for playing because it would be unfair to other students and would only stray them away from the real reason they're at college. All right, so what is the real reason college athletes are at college? Well, just like any other student, they're there to get an education. And you see, the NCAA already provides these athletes with world-class education and world-class opportunities. Do they really need more when they're already given all of this? I don't... I mean... Besides, there are plenty of other students that must pay their own way in to get their education, so college athletes should not take what they're given already for granted. And secondly, it is unfair to other students, massively unfair. You see, if college athletes are paid, then the tuition for all the other students, that would skyrocket. I mean, it'd be really, really expensive. And see, most athletes are already, most athletes are already at college because they're receiving scholarships. These scholarships cover things such as fees, or room, textbooks, tuition. And see, technically, they're already being paid, almost, with the scholarship. Do they really need more money? while other students are struggling to pay things that they are already given? I, I mean, I see, many may make the counter-argument. I mean, like, they're contributing to the school. I mean, they put in countless hours of hard work, and they do a lot for their school by winning championships. See, this is true. But what about all the other students that are in clubs and organizations that contribute to their school? Shouldn't they be paid? What about high school students? High school students contribute to their school. Should they be paid? You see, in the end, it's just not fair. If you, you can't just pay some, because if you pay some and don't pay the, the rest, that's just hypocritical, and that wouldn't make sense. And finally, if athletes were paid, the thrill of watching college sports would deplete rapidly. You see, rather than being paid on their skill or ability, just as the pros, the college athletes would be played on their fame, be paid on their fame and their image, not their ability. See, the amateurism of college sports allows for a healthier team culture and overall mission, something that the pro athletics don't necessarily have. And finally, being paid only puts more pressure on college athletes. I mean, these guys put in countless hours of hard work and they got a balanced school on the side. I mean, I don't think they need more pressure. That's just brutal. So, to wrap this up, I have just explained to you one side of the debate for pay for play. And so now, even though this decision lies in the, the hands of the courts and the Supreme Court, if someone were to ask you your opinion, you'd now have a logical answer, you could say. And so hopefully this message has changed your opinion and has given you a new view on this debate of pay or play. Thank you. How long is